Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Dior and this is Final Fantasy Tactics. So there have been a few minor updates, nothing too serious, I've been rather busy with work and other nonsense, so just go ahead and knock these out one at a time. Work now has attack up instead of defense up since his evasion, his physical evasion is so freaking high that defense up doesn't really help him that much. Um, Hitoshi has the Ragnarok and he also asked to switch to either item or jump or something, so I switched him to item. Uh, the only disadvantage he has is he doesn't have uh, Remedy or Mega Potion yet, but so that's okay. It's better than nothing. Um, anything else I think is good to go. Ah, uh, frame rate. Anyway. Uh, the other change was Mustadio. Mustadio is now using a bow, and his counter ability is now just counter throw. I went and equipped him with a thief hat since he no longer needs to rely on any sort of magic attack power. So now he has additional speed for some extra damage with his ultimate bow. Uh, Oryx has been talked about. Shun. Shun now has punch art instead of toxicill, because toxicill doesn't do anything for him. Um, punch art might not do much for him either, but it's better than what he had before. And I think that's all the updates I saw on that specific video I made for the update. Um, there might have been some throughout the, the ones I've uploaded, but I don't remember them, so <laughs> I just went with whatever was on the um, my update video. Anyway, uh, we're going to probably take it easy this, uh, this week and probably just go work on the story. As I mentioned before, the only side content I need to do is I need to go back to... Um, Google Machine City, get Cloud active, and then head to a, Zarga, a Zargadis trade city. Um, and that'll be the battle where I pick up Cloud. Um, at this point, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, we have a full house already. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. So yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, jump right in here. All right, we're just gonna hopefully rush through this quickly. All right, battle time. So Rams, as always, now who do we wish to take? I don't even remember who we took on the last fight. I know we didn't take Meliadol, so we'll take Meliadol. Definitely took Agrius. Um, uh, I don't think we took Mustadio. So we'll go ahead and bring Mustadio. Mosh has been out of the loop for a while. And to be honest, we haven't done much with Eren, so let's go ahead and bring her in. This could be a demon fight, I don't really remember. <laughs> this is a demon fight, I might have to switch to something a little bit uh, a, little, a little bit more um, coherent. Yep, this is a demon fight. Anyway, he finally found out that... Uh, has, uh, had was the one that killed uh, their father. Alright, so we got here an Arknight who has Destroy Sword. He has the Save the Queen Sword, so I guess this is where we're supposed to pick it up. Which is a 20 attack power uh, Knight Sword that grants always protect. Unfortunately, we can't grab it from him. And this guy has uh, Sword Skill and Magic Sword, and has a Defender, and Damage Split, and has Maintenance. And the rest of these guys are just a variety of Knights, some of them with Hamado and other nonsense. They're level 38, so... Shouldn't be too difficult. 
few ranged attacks. This uh, Darg has 43, uh, level, is level 43 that is. Um, draw out me on slash. Okay. Unfortunately, shooting up is not going to be. Oh, right, you have fly, don't you? And you have innate. Uh, Oh, you don't have fly, you have ignore height. Alright, you start with defend active. Aren't you annoying? Go after the rest of you guys, though. 308. 308. 308. Fortunately, you don't. You have attack up and you don't have concentrate, so freaking your accuracy is not that great. But they'll just have to do. And I'm pretty sure all these have height limitations. Maybe they don't. We'll find out. They don't. Perfect. Alright, then we're gonna move this way. We're gonna get to work here. Blast our punch. Help cry wolf. There we go. Yep, sword broken. We're just gonna do with Navis. I can almost kill you. Watch this. Yep, I'm in. Alright. How fast can you do, uh... That's pretty fast. Alright. Yeah, this is a demon fight, um, which will make things a little bit more difficult, but because these ba these are going to be back to back. But oh well. A loon knight. Space of sword. Oh wow, I got another action before this guy did. Alright, well, um... That, I can actually try to go for a... A hit from behind, maybe? Not in exactly the best position to do that, though. I can shoot you. 100%. Why is your attack 100%?
Oh, class evasion, I guess. I don't know. I'd rather go off the other guy, though. Nope. I can do a lot of damage, but I can't hit these guys because they all have shields. Oh, wow. <laughs> Counter throw actually pulled off there. That was like 300 damage there. Thanks to the fall. Blizzard's not going to hit anything. I really just was trying to keep things off the bridge. Alright, which one is my... Helmets. Crush Punch. Oh, is it Shelver Stab? Here it is. Sheesh, come on, Evasion. Dragon Rods. Destin, you have an... Oh, you have an Ice Brand. Okay, I can work with that. Self winner. Oh, what Titan? Titan does about the same. Okay. Well then, Odin it is then. You have items, but you don't have ethers. Okay, good to know. rather not deal with the, um, Hellfire Wolf? Yeah. Rather not deal with your nonsense of that crossbow. Nice crit. Then trigger speed save, which is good too. deal with damage split. Yep. Yay for status effects. Usually I try to just focus down freaking distant dark, but you've kinda ran all the way to the back, so. Are dead, one is disabled. So we should be okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and use this as an opportunity to get back some MP. Now. 
Holy Explosion. That's gonna hit both of them. Missed. 432 damage. Holy cow. I'm amazed the other attack. I'm amazed it missed on freaking. Uh... Oh, actually, she has a shield and stuff, so she actually does okay. What are you doing? Nothing. Alright. I'm gonna keep working on the summons. We'll do, uh, Odin again. I believe you're immune to... Yeah, you have maintenance. Destroy shields, can I? No, I can't. All right then, I'll just break your other stuff. Oh, nice crits! That's two crits in a row for you. All's left is him. With his reasonably high evasion. Wow, I can hit him with uh, this before Distant Dark actually takes an action. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and heal you. While healing myself. so long since I played. It's all back. Why are you doing that from the front? Freaking A is all back. I don't think you can possibly suck more. Alright, so I'm actually going to attack from behind. Hope I get the hit. 50-50. Wow, I can't hit a 50-50. Uh, actually spread out. be a little bit annoying because he has regen so I have to hit him with as much stuff as possible while he has evasion and I can't get rid of his evasion because he has maintenance. 278 damage split <sighs> figures and he has damage split so there's a chance he'll just take half damage and reflect it back so yeah very annoying fight 
Uh, a holy would do wonders here, but I don't have anyone here that has holy right now. And apparently, I'm getting spammed on freaking Facebook, so I might have to mute that. thing I could do is debuff him, but he's going to get all of his stats back when he turns into a demon. Spoiler, he's going to turn into a demon. Seriously, have no useful abilities. He had a holy explosion. Definitely have something. Okay, I can definitely hit this guy. So I have to use one of these guys. Uh, what do you have? You have a light robe and nothing else? Okay, so all these will do the same damage. We'll do Ramu. Fifty fifty chance to hit him though. Nope, guarded. <laughs> Come on! God, this is annoying. It's not even challenging, it's just uh, tedious. <laughs> it's not... Alright, you're gonna kill him. Oh, you critted. And it missed. 846 damage. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, whatever. So he's at, back up to 400... 33 damage to blood again. I have to hit him with a bunch of attacks that all always hit, and unfortunately, none of these, none of our, well, majority of our group doesn't actually have concentrate. 135. I'd rather just do this and hope it works. Come on! It doesn't take- it's not that hard to get a coin flip. Seriously? Sawbag, you have other moves. Don't tell me it's only Holy Explosion. I just have to hope I hit him is not something I want to rely on. Alright, got him. He's gonna damage split, of course. Did 101 there. 
120. If this hits, I'll take him out, and then he'll change into a demon. And I'll be one person down at the start of the demon fight. God, that was a pain. Automatically ends the turn, so... I don't really remember much about this demon fight. I'm hoping that's a good sign. I am definitely over leveled, so hopefully that'll help. Hey, you took my chest away. Here we go. Make sure you're not Im yeah, you're immune to it. Um, I can battle skill you. I honestly don't remember any of your abilities. And what's your counter ability? Counter magic. Great, I'm glad I've grabbed I grabbed a group that has more magic than anything. That's okay. So what I can do is melee. My, my freaking Bahamut Rod, or whatever it's called. 100% chance to hit from the front. Wait, you have you have Concentrate, don't you? Yeah, you do. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to revive you before you freaking die, because it freaking forced the turn to go for it. Seven percent, so it's gonna miss. Ah, good. All right, so everyone's back on their feet. Everyone's pretty spread out, except for the people in melee. So as long as we can limit the damage a little bit, that should be fine. Um, I don't know what you're casting. Golem. Oh. Golem! Wonderful! So Golem was removed from uh, the patch version because it's overpowered. Because what it does is it essentially has Golem protect you and it absorbs hits for you. All I can really do is just hit him enough time so hopefully the Golem wears off. He also moves normally so I can actually trap him. And hit him with this Bahamut. Nine, nice. So he has gold on to protect himself from physical and then counter magic to deal with any sort of spells that he gets hit with. Not a bad combo. So we're just gonna focus on that nonsense. Go ahead and work on the last dance. It's like only a 50% chance of actually doing anything, but it's better than nothing. 
And in the meantime, I will go ahead and move with you. Oh, come on! 75%! Whatever. Alright, next is... Oh, you're gonna seal me. Actually, this is kind of hilarious. Because now you're just gonna be trapped. Uh, Belly Adult is immune to status effects, so she doesn't have anything to worry about. No, actually, just stay in place. Nope. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and move up and get some heals off. So, do you have ribbons? No, you don't. You're one of the few female characters that doesn't have a ribbon right now. I don't have anything that can remove stats effects. Yeah, unfortunately, Golem is a huge pain. In fact, he's already casting it again. And he already cast it. Alright, cool. Good stuff. Um, 75%! So many of my attacks have been missing so far. Alright. Let's go ahead and go back to dancing. What do I want? I could do last dance, and that would delay his turns, but I'm probably better off just doing something else. Heck, I'm probably better off just doing Wiz Navis at this point. You know what? Do Wiz Navis. That'll probably bypass Golem. We'll just keep beating on freaking Golem there. See how things go. Now I'm not sure if freaking counter magic works with Meteor. One way to find out. This murders me, I'll know. Oh. Freaking Seal has such stupid range. So far, two hundred ninety nine damage, no counter magic. All right, well, I can definitely hit you from a safe location. I'll just keep buffing you. Is that all you can do? I don't believe it. I know he's got to have some sort of offensive attack. It's either that or he thinks it's that useless. Alright, time magic. I'm not sure. If, pretty sure... Uh, out four spaces, three spaces, right? One, two, three spaces. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, so I need to move up three spaces. One, two, three. All 
and I'll hopefully put you out of range. So if it doesn't, I'm gonna be annoyed. Oh wow, he has weapon breaks. That is not funny. I might save state, <laughs> just so I don't get my shit broken. I'm not gonna allow him to break my freaking ribbons. So, this is pretty much how I fight most demons. So we're just gonna trap him and just hit him with spells. I can't be counter magic. Isn't it? He's going next. Moshi. Okay. Or Mosh. Mosh. One of those. Alright, let me be right back. I'll make a save state just to make sure my shit doesn't get broken. Alright, let's do this. Time magic. Meteor. It looks like every two hits he's going to reapply Golem, which is fine by me. Yay for punch arts. For once, they're actually really, really handy at this point. So yeah, this Golem is like ridiculous. You, if you went all physical for this fight, good luck trying to like take him out. I mean, I hit him for like 400 something. Five, heck, I think I hit him for 600 something and the golem was still active. Is that M barrier, so he's gonna boot, give himself a bunch of freaking free stat increases. But I guess that's a good sign, that means he's not attacking or trying to break my stuff. A shell protect. Okay, that's not bad. I was kind of worried he was going to get regen, of all things. Unfortunately now that means I'm doing half damage with this spell. That's still pretty decent. 257. Now cast that, alright. I mean, I could try draining his MP. But I don't exactly have anything that reliable. In fact, the only person I could drain MP right now would be, um, I would have to switch to dancing, or I, I would have to go over and get that uh, Petrify removed from uh, Mastadia. But I think I'll stick with this plan, because literally there's He's just delaying the inevitable, which is a lot of wasted time, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Oh, f yeah, f screw you, game. Screw you. 17% chance breaks the weapon. Um, it was only a Moonblade, so I might go ahead and leave it alone, because I don't exactly want to reset at this point. I do have a save state up. We'll see how much damage I can do now. But that was, that was bullshit. Wait, I had what weapon guard. Screw that. Be right back. Hey guys, I resetted back to the save state, and I actually learned something new while I was going, trying to catch back up to where I was. Um, counter magic does work with, with Meteor. Um, it just, I guess I've been really lucky and haven't been proccing it, or he just has low faith. In any case, I'm probably just going to save state my, uh, well, I pretty much... Literally every turn I'm going to be just attacking to, break, to try to break the golem and just cast long range spells to try to, you know, mitigate that nonsense. Um, there's not much else I can do. Um, at least not easily. 
Um, so, yeah, that might be a problem. Um, what I might go ahead and do is I might go and try to get uh, Mosh back up, but I can't. I'm pretty sure I can't because the range of freaking seal is way too long. So, yeah, I think I'm kind of stuck where I am. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just cut it off here. There's literally nothing to say. This is going to be a, just a tedious long battle that's just going to waste a lot of people's time. So, I'll just waste my time and I'll be back in a bit. Well, that took forever. So, um, some things he was able to do is he is he was a, apparently two sword. So, when he melee attacks, he attacks twice. Um, same thing for his weapon breaks, I guess. Um, he does know the spell Melanyar, and he also knows the spell Demi too. Um, also, I believe Golem does extra HP based off your max HP, so as the fight went on, he eventually got to a point where he was just doing nothing but casting Golem over and over again, so I kind of was just able to nuke him over and over again. Um, of course, I had to do save states to deal with the Meteor counter magic. Um, now, I could just tank it. Um, uh, Aaron can actually take the hit, um, but... Uh, Mosh could not, so I would end up having to revive Mosh and then kind of just waste up a bunch of turns trying to get, you know, back to a stable condition type thing. Um, the safer way to do this, of course, is just to surround him with petrified characters and do nothing but dance, because dance can't be counter mag magic, but that also means it takes like 30 bazillion years longer. So, honestly, this fight is kind of dumb. I mean, I understand it's the idea, the concept behind it. It's obviously the golem is to prevent any physical damage, while you know, counter magic, but there's not really any hard counters to this. All you can really hope to do is just out nuke him, or you know, hit him with dances by trapping him and things like that. It's it's not clever. It's not interesting. It's just a really boring fight. So, but it's over. So that takes care of majority of the demon fights at this point. So uh, there's a few more towards the end. Um, and we have a Zal bag we still need to deal with. But I think the rest is just normal encounters, which will be nice to do for a change. Hey, we got a Dragon Whisker. Eat, but we don't need it. All right, good stuff. Um, so we'll be heading towards Moran Holy Place next. That's good. I was hoping there weren't going to be any follow-up battles because I didn't really want to deal with it. Anyway, um, yeah, um, I could have. I didn't realize that the fight was going to go immediately to the demon fight. I thought there was going to be some, you know, casual fights before it. But uh, oh well, it worked out with the team we got, which is nice. Um, Meliodol got to finally use her ability some more, which is good. And um, Mosh got to actually do some things, because he hasn't been able to do much besides buff people for a long time. Um, I actually got to use freaking punch art for a consistent amount of times. So, uh, pretty much Aaron fueled Mosh's spells. It worked out rather well. And everyone else was petrified. Um, Mustadio can do quite a bit of damage. The disadvantage, of course, is his um, accuracy when against things that have shields and mantles um, tends to make it a little bit more difficult. But he's super fast, so it's not a big deal. And as always, snipe and battle skills have been a big help. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call this video. I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Final Fantasy Tactics. See you guys later.